This is how to wire up your in-car subwoofers, a tutorial by Jake's Car Audio. First of all, what type of subwoofer voice coil setup have you got? If you are not sure, I will walk you through the difference between the two. There are both single voice coil and dual voice coil subwoofers available in today's markets. With the single voice coil subs, there are one set of terminals, one positive and one negative for one coil. Single voice coil subwoofers have less wiring options but are fairly straightforward and usually easier to wire up. Dual voice coil subwoofers have two sets of terminals, one for each coil. This leaves you with much more flexible wiring options but it is a bit harder to wire up, especially if you're new to car audio. Now, let's talk about ohms. There's a few ways to find out your subwoofer's ohms. The easiest way is to check the back of your sub's magnet. Another way is to probe the coils using a digital multimeter. Lastly, you can search online by looking up your subwoofer model on Google. On to different types of wiring, we have both series, parallel, and also a combination of series parallel, which is usually applied when wiring multiple dual voice coil subs. To wire up series parallel, you wire coil 1 positive to coil 2 negative. Then, with the final two terminals, wire up negative to amp negative and positive to amp positive. I'll show you an illustration so that's more clear. Here we have three dual voice coil subwoofers wired up in series parallel. Now you can understand a bit more clearly what I meant. For each subwoofer, wire coil 1 positive to coil 2 negative. Then, with the last available terminals, which will be the opposite polarity and opposite coils, wire these straight to the amplifier. Now, you might be wondering how to connect all these wires to your amp. You shouldn't just strip the ends of the wire, twist them together and then squeeze them into your amp. A much better way is to attach ring terminals to the subwoofer leads, then connect all these together with a bolt, nut and washer for both positive and negative. You can also drill a hole in your box and push the bolt through for an even neater setup. To wire up parallel is much easier and more often done with single voice coil subs. All you need to do is wire positive to positive and negative to negative. Here is an illustration for parallel wiring. As you can see, we have three single voice coil subs wired up in parallel. Positives are wired together, negatives are wired together, and then finally wired straight to the amplifier. Lastly, I will be showing you three ohm charts in this order. Parallel single voice coil, parallel dual voice coil, and series parallel dual voice coil. You can find out how to wire your subs with these charts, and then you can tell what's compatible with your amplifier. Most monoblock amps can wire down to one ohm, with some allowing you to wire as low as half an ohm. Check your amp's minimum load to make sure it'll work though. You don't want to be breaking your amp from wiring too low. Here is the first ohm chart, which is parallel for single voice coil subs. Don't worry if it looks confusing, I'll explain how to read these. First of all, match the amount of subs you have for the first number at the top. Let's say I have three subs. Next, match your individual subwoofer ohms to the number on the left. My subs are four ohm each. The last number to the right of it is the total ohms that your sub setup will come to when all wired together. If your amp is capable of wiring as low as this last number, have fun and enjoy your setup. If your amp cannot wire down this low, try checking different wiring options or maybe even save up for a different setup. Next, we have the parallel ohm chart for dual voice coil subwoofers. Pause here if you wish to view it for a while. Lastly, we have the series parallel ohm chart for dual voice coil subwoofers. Again, just pause here if you wish to view it for a while. And that just about wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing more videos on matching the optimum speaker wire size, fuses, power wire size, and even making custom ported boxes, all soon and uploaded to this channel. Like and subscribe for more content, and leave a comment if you have an opinion or want help with a question.